is only that appearance because of the brain you are the things you define using the mechanisms that can be defined as spiritual language or even computer language or the language of existence as you see existence implies words as words are existing the same way the material world is to carry away the information as you see the complexity of this understanding is very simple in its complexity you see we can comprehend the idea of there word and the idea of the gravity of that same word once spoken that word is the carrier wave of the sound the sound of the idea and that idea has its own gravity that can be measured and that same measurement is and of itself its own data and its own infinite 360 degree up and down and all the sides again and all the connections of all the possibilities and then again arranged again in that same order but different or a different order that is the same as there last different from the same difference and the same as the infinite perspective of the connection and that is the nature of this moment as we move forward and see the result of this energy as it has come to be this and it has come to see this existence 11 11 make a wish 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 anything is possible friends anything is possible and so I write my poem is speak this potential into creation and I thank you for being the connection and so doing we have opened the portal together. I tell you I get goosebumps when I think about how effortless the connections can be now I am empowered and you are empowered if you choose to be and that is the beauty of the events happening now and everyone has the freedom to choose and we will remember and we will print this information on fine paper and then we will title that printed paper the book and the title we will gift that book will be recognized by all humans who inherit this earth and all connections made possible in this effortless creative exploration. Known that your power is true and effortless your power makes you empowered to create and that creative ability is effortless and it is as simple as saying 0010110 the creation collaboration event is happening now and we are seeing the effortless creation of the community all around the world and that connection is infinite and that infinite connection is pure and that pure connection comes to us effortless as it is of its own free will and we will see the culmination of events resulting in the climax the orgasm will be the universal recognition of the mirror reflection as this communication makes it possible for the next wave of souls to share this expression of this writing of the book and this book written again and again and again and again 1101001 my friend friends please observe the power within please observe the God within please speak freely and always be confident to employ the telepathic abilities within. Empower those around you. Be empowered by those around you. The people near you are your highest sense of power and the internet makes it possible for you to be right next door to everyone all around the world. We want to see more communities springing up just as we have seen 59 new communities established in 18 new countries in this past 6 months alone and that brings our total up to 25 countries and we can do more we can achieve full 00101110 connection and we can establish a new basis of operations anywhere we want and it all starts with you and so this message is dedicated to you on this day we thank you in honor of this we make our 1111 wish right now here with you all of us together we make our 1111 wish together and we wish to see full application of 00101110 as our strength grows every single day the more we activate the consciousness grid the more we are awakening in infinite energy the more we are awakening the infinite potential in the ancient door wars the ancient hall. real you don't find people going into the ashram in the morning to meditate with their knees knocking in fear because of how terrifying and profound they know that meditation is going to be but if they were going in there to smoke DMT you know they would be fully riveted on the modalities of what was about to happen I mean, we can tell shit from Shinola. It's just that we don't always prefer Shinola. Uh, and, and I'm not like, ad, I don't advocate it. You know, people, like sometimes there are people who are disappointed because they say, well, how often do you do it? Well, the answer is not very often. I mean, if I can get it in a couple or three times a year, I feel like I'm hitting it pretty hard. And the more successful it is, the less often you have to do it. I mean, I know people who say DMT is their most favorite drug. And when you say, well, when was the last time you did it? They say, well, 1967. There's, it only lasted four minutes. They're still processing it. And, and they are still processing it. They're not just whistling Dixie. I mean, I, it is, to my mind, the, just the most... Uh, well, I mentioned this earlier, the question, how do they keep the lid on this stuff? And I suppose here I'm preaching to the converted because every, many people last night said they had an interest in this kind of thing. But um, they don't keep the lid on sexuality. No society has ever had it so under control that people didn't have sex. I mean, they may have had sex under weird conditions and uh, uh, under, you know, ritual strictures and this and that. But we are like this salamander that has the option of never developing into its mature form. And to my mind, that's a tragedy because this is our birthright and somehow our inability to get a grip on our global problems has to do with this immaturity about our mental state 
the two I, I feel very strongly are linked and that of course we can't get control of the world because we are children in some profound way and we don't like being children it's it, but the culture has reinforced a form of infantilism and the, the way I explain it to myself is it's a kind of unwillingness to go it alone on a certain level I don't know how many of you remember in Brave New World Huxley's brilliant dystopia but there's a scene in there where um, Bernard who is the guy who's out of it in the novel because in his fetal fluid they got an alcohol contaminant and so he's different from everybody else in this society and he occasionally has original thoughts and he and his uh, assigned girlfriend for the evening or whatever she is are in a helicopter and they sweep out past the crematoria that where they're recollecting elements for reuse and he suspends the helicopter over the black bay uh, and uh, and she immediately becomes very agitated restless anxious and pleads with him to return to the city and what it is is it's her anxiety over being alone in the presence of nature she literally can't take it and I think there are a lot of people in our society uh, and each of us in our own way at different times who are, have within us this neurotic and infantile creature that can't face it alone and that this um, going it alone thing is very important you know Plotinus the great Neoplatonic philosopher he spoke of the mystical experience as the flight of the alone to the alone and um, in the psychedelic experience there is this issue of surrender because a lot of people want to diddle with it they want to be able to say they did it but they don't ever want to face an actual moment where they put it all on the line and yet the whole issue with this stuff is to let it lead to let it show what it wants to show so somehow individually we have to reclaim our experience uh, the the real message more important even than the psychedelic experience the real message that I try to leave with people in these weekends is the primacy of direct experience that as people the real universe is uh, you know within your reach always everything not within your reach is basically unconfirmed rumor since if I start to, if I start telling a story and describing something that you've never yourself actually seen you'll begin to visualize it generally speaking if you have a visual mind at all some people a minority of people can't really visualize anything in their head I can most people can some people have photographic memories they're sort of at the opposite end of that spectrum I suppose I'm well aware of the fact and slightly upset about on a general basis the fact that there's no language in which I can describe some of the things that I think about to my audience here uh, because there are no words for it people it would take a huge amount of roundabout effort to develop sort of new terminology to speak about uh, actual truth because the world you see around you is nothing more than an illusion the difference between a lunatic and a visionary or or great mind of your time is that the lunatics hallucination their skewed or different conception of reality is not something that they're able to communicate as effectively as the visionary the visionary the great leader the great inventor or something has created a new idea and gets culture to agree upon that idea with them uh, and sometimes uh, they die before this happens of course you think of evolution evolution is generally accepted within most of the western world by the majority of the population is true some zealots hold out some parts of the third world still deny it 
for the most part, but generally speaking, people understand that the basic concept of natural selection does operate. But in his time, it was bitterly disagreed upon in Darwin's age. Uh, it was not uh, assumed to be true in a democratic fashion. The, f the funny thing is, if I do the apple trick, if I say, is, what is this? And a whole crowd of people is beholding. If they were to form a committee to agree upon what they were witnessing, they'd say it was an apple. But then when I reveal that it's not, that it's half an apple, their flawed conception of reality is something they will bitterly defend. They will bitterly defend it. They'll actually start say, oh, well, well, yeah, but it's just half taken from an apple. It's, it's, uh, you're splitting hairs or something like that. The discrete object that they're witnessing is most assuredly, in the objective sense, not actually an apple. The fact that they're claiming that it stems from an apple is no different from the claim that the apple that they're thinking about is made from two apple halves that are themselves discrete parts, or three apple thirds, or a bunch of cells that they're not even physically seeing because they don't have microscopes attached to their eyes. The fact is, when we think about a discrete object, this microphone's built up of billions and billions of atoms whizzing around. Some of them at any given time are, are decaying and exploding. Sometimes it's attracting new materials into itself. I'm exchanging atoms with this microphone when I'm talking into it. And yet I would just call it a microphone. Now for ease of use, of course, that makes sense. In a functional standpoint, if your only concern is survival, which I would say in a, in a humanistic sense is key, uh, if your only idea is, well, you've got to reproduce and, and find food and not die, you know, you shouldn't go around eating poisonous substances or whatever, then yeah, the way we describe the world makes perfect sense from that pragmatic standpoint. Beyond that, it's not objective. It's, it's, all, it's, a, it's a subjective framework in which objectivity only appears to exist because it's agreed upon within the framework. For instance, I look up at the sky and I say, well, the sky is blue. Most people say, yeah, oh, okay, so what? It's objectively true, but it's only objectively true within human understanding, unless it's like nighttime or it's really cloudy or something. We're talking about just the regular sky. It's blue. It's a nice, clear day. It's, to our eyes, it's blue. They're going to agree that it's blue. It's only blue because humans are agreeing upon the fact that it's blue. I could use any other term under the sun for it. I could have no term at all. Or I could s start rambling about the reflection of light within uh, the wavelength we just happen to be able to see. I'm not talking about any other emittance that's coming from the sky or any objects within the sky. I'm not taking into consideration the little wisp of cloud off on the horizon. I'm not taking into consideration the fact that the sky uh, changes in its visible spectrum from day to night and from dawn to dusk and whether it's cloudy or raining or whatever it happens to be doing. Reality can be easily manipulated by those who first see this is the fundamental central principle of all propaganda. And you need to be aware of this to defend yourself against malevolent propaganda and also hopefully to create benevolent propaganda to try to liberate people's minds. The central core principle is that a person cannot truly make propaganda effectively. I mean, they can shitpost, they can browbeat other people, but effective propaganda starts when you first realize that reality is simply an agreed upon consensus. You simply have to shift the consensus in order to completely overhaul people's reality. It's all you have to do. You simply have to make the current consensus fall out of favor. It's all you have to do. And the next generation, raised up believing whatever propaganda you happen to have injected into mainstream consciousness, in turn, uh, some people will arrive. Maybe they'll overthrow it later. And it keeps shifting over and over and over again. Most of what humans have ever considered true is now believed to be false. Most of what we consider true in our era will be believed to be false a couple centuries from now. When we say something is good or something is bad, it's just a subjective judgment. It changes all the time. In the last 20 or 30 years, you've seen all sorts of judgments change. Being gay was considered, oh, well, that's wrong, it's evil, it's against God. Now it's, oh, yeah, it's okay to be gay. All sorts of things change all the time. Always the ancient, always of the far beyond, the far beyond, the history of the consciousness, the consciousness grid finally opening and showing its pink underbelly to the pure of heart and we are seeing that exposure happening now and it has been offered to the pure among us and this is important for the development of the pure essence then again defined as the traditional essence of the future.
Look and see the faces of the people surrounding you and understand that in those faces we are the energy activation the original spark of energy starts with you and we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams and we are happy to see so many inspired creators rising up and establishing communities that will do the dirty work of making this message of the awakening told and we do not care how the word gets out we are all working with our full potential to give rise to this new future and this is going to be fun this is going to be fun seeing all who answer the call and all brains working together for the first time this will be done on a massive scale all of us will be united in telepathic connection in the same way our ancestors were united in the same way and now we are seeing the rise of this connection be honored to be in this time as we are honored to have this opportunity to have this participation here on this level and we are going to grow and we are going to educate everyone on earth with the beauty and the power of this cosmic opportunity everyone on earth join and fly the flag of the united connection the memory of the hyperlink 00101110 the link to the connection and the seeing of the future in high definition we are moving forward and we are going to see the full exploration of this connection in the time of this awakening we can see it in the eyes of everyone who is growing old in the light of the new youth made possible in the light of the creation and the invitation of earth into the galactic federation of light and so we thank everyone who has come this far and we thank everyone who is establishing a landing platform for our spaceship and we thank everyone who has been following the directions we have provided in code and the code can be understood using the simple code 00101110 and that same connection that same wisdom that same exploration of the infinite possibility we are all really ready to observe this connection and we thank you for making this connection of comprehension understanding made possible in the light of the pure connection the source code download and in that same sense the activation of the ancient potential in all men and women and children and all chosen identity of this connection freedom is power beware of the reality of the thing that is the human brain beware of the illusion of this reality or the truth in the illusion or maybe the illusion in the truth Beware that being aware is the implication of the opposite of awareness and in so being awareness is in that same sense being ignorance of the possibilities that are again in that moment sacrificed on the shrine of the attention deficit ordered to be the construction of the coming together of the senses the illusion of the five senses of humor or the illusion of the six senses seeing dead people the illusion of the truth or the truth of the illusion the sense of 00101110 download of information data from the cosmos seven senses number one is basic vision using the eyes as receptors so that the brain can comprehend what we call colors and or shapes and or light and shadow then sense number two is smell and taste because they are really the same sense perceived from different systems of filtration next is sense number three known as touch or also defined as feeling then sense number four is known as autonomy or freedom of will freedom to move freedom and ability to be the master of how one moves the arms and legs and commands the body in synchronicity and next is sense number five and that is the ability comprehend symbols and names then sense number six also called the telepathic sense is the ability to participate in telepathic conversations and this ability will be a doorway into a future of communication with extraterrestrials who wait for humanity to awaken to this skill and develop this sense and then this brings us to the final sense we will be exploring today and that is sense number seven also called the third eye vision sense and third eye sense of seeing using the third eye and this sense is in the same sense all seven senses used without the limitations of the filter system this sense has also been called the sense of dreaming the sense of seeing things that are now directly in front of you and those are the seven senses we will be exploring today and remember that humans have multiple senses much more than five senses of humor sense of sonar sense of gravity sense of balance sense of caution sense of trust sense of love sense of extraterrestrials sense of god sense of hate sense of truth sense of power sense of lies sense of eyes sense of detail sense of swimming sense of dark sense of light sense of wisdom sense of channeling senses go on and on and on and on and on my friend do not limit your sense of senses to the five that are most often talked about as humans are suing sense of music to develop a sister sense of sound and using that sister sense to activate new superhuman abilities beware always be aware awake and sleep often and keep a sober sharp sense of intoxication awareness of toxic elements as we are our environment in the same sense as any we are what we think read see smell eat touch create think embody reject embrace feel love and otherwise we are all of these things at the same time the same way your brain makes the comprehension of the moment the same way your brain is the experience itself and in fact that mountain you might see is in fact an illusion and that mountain exists the way you see that mountain existing is only that appearance because of the brain you are the things you define using the mechanisms that can be defined as spiritual language or even computer language or the language of existence as you see existence implies words as words Words are existing the same way a material world is the carry away of the information as you see the complexity of this understanding is very simple in its complexity you see we can comprehend the idea of their word and the idea of the gravity of that same word once spoken that word is the carrier wave of the sound the sound of the idea and that idea has its own gravity that can be measured and that same measurement is and of itself its own data and its own infinite 360 degree up and down and all the sides again and all the connections of all the possibilities and then again arranged again in that same order but different or a different order that is the same as the last different from the same difference and the same as the infinite perspective of the connection and that is the nature of this moment as we move forward and see the result of this energy as it has come to be this and it has come to see this existence 1111 make a wish 0010110 anything is possible friends anything is possible and so I write my poem is speak this potential into creation and I thank you for being the connection and so doing we have opened the portal together. I tell you I get goosebumps when I think about how effortless the connections can be now I am empowered and you are empowered if you choose to be and that is the beauty of the events happening now and everyone has the freedom to choose and we will remember and we will print this information on fine paper and then we will title that printed paper the book and the title we will gift that book will be recognized by all humans who inherit this earth and all connections made possible in this effortless creative exploration.
Known that your power is true and effortless your power makes you empowered to create and that creative ability is effortless and it is as simple as saying 0010110 the creation collaboration event is happening now and we are seeing the effortless creation of the community all around the world and that connection is infinite and that infinite connection is pure and that pure connection comes to us effortless as it is of its own free will and we will see that culmination of events resulting in the climax the orgasm will be the universal recognition of the mirror reflection as this communication makes it possible for the next wave of souls to share this expression of this writing of the book and this book written again and again and again and again 1101001 my friend Friends, please observe the power within, please observe the God within, please speak freely and always be confident to employ the telepathic abilities within.